solving simultaneous equations with substitution. So in our previous video, we looked at solving simultaneous, simultaneous equations graphically, but we can do it algebraically as well with two methods. We're going to look at one here called substitution. And we want to use substitution usually when one of the two equations or both of them has one of the variables as the subject. Let's have a look at an example. We have the equations 2x plus 3y equals 8 and y equals x plus 1. So this is a good example where we can use substitution to solve these equations because this equation over here has y as the subject. So what we want to do is label our equations, calling this one equation 1 and this one equation 2. And the one with the subject, we want to sub it into the other one because we can see if y equals x plus 1, we've got a y over here. And if we know y equals x plus 1, we could substitute this value into here. That's what we want to go ahead and do. So we want to sub equation 2 into equation 1. So when we do that, we've got to be careful and we should add a bracket in. So we've got 3 times y, but we know y equals x plus 1 from equation 2. And that equals 8. And now we've made an equation with only one variable, which becomes solvable. So we can go ahead and solve that equation. So we've got to expand the 3 out, so times it by everything inside. So it's going to be 3 times x is 3x, and 3 times 1, which is 3. We can add our like terms together. So we get 5x plus 3 equals 8. Subtract 3 from both sides. So we get 5x equals 5. Divide both sides by 5. So x equals 1. That's not all because this only tells us what x is. We also want to solve for y when we solve. When we solve simultaneously, we need to solve for both pronumerals. So now we can go ahead and sub that value into the easier equation out of the two. And this one looks like the easier one. So we're going to sub it into two. So let's do that. So we're going to sub x equals one into equation two. So we get y equals x. Well, we know x is now one. So we get one plus one and y is going to be two. And then just a conclusion statement saying, therefore, x equals one and y equals two. And graphically, that represents the point 1, 2, where if we graph these two straight lines out, they would intersect at the point 1, 2.